Thank you, Diana. It's just past 8.15 on this Friday morning, and that means it's time for our weekly chat session with Clay and Dale of WYRK's Breakfast Fa Club. And I have to say, we're missing Dale right now. He's out on a special project that we're going to talk about. But I like the, uh, the setup this time. You're right from the studio. Yeah, uh, we're direct from the uh, the control room here this morning, not uh, in the bunker, as uh, one of your producers was saying. So good morning, Matt. How's it going over there? It's going great. Now, Clay, you're on your own today because Dale is working on a special project. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, first I want to say good morning to Liz. Uh, you get a chance to meet her in the future. She's uh, our new addition to the show. But, yeah, Dale is uh, out working on a special project. They're filming a movie at Ralph Wilson Stadium, and they asked Dale to be an extra. Uh, he's going to be on the field during some of the scenes uh, playing an official. Uh, you might know that Dale's a high school football official, so it kind of fits. I don't know if he's got a speaking line, but he's going to be in the movie. Now, we were just talking about the Boston Strong concert, but it also seems that the country music you know, celebrities are also teaming up to raise money for the victims of the tornado. And we hear Blake Sheldon has raised a lot of money. Yeah, he sure did. Boy, what a great show the other night. It was only an hour long, but in that hour, they made more than $6 million for the uh, tornado relief in Moore, Oklahoma. Blake is not far from that area. Uh, Toby Keith, uh, Reba McIntyre, Vince Gill, Carrie Underwood, all Oklahomans, and they all came together to raise $6 million in just an hour the other night. That's very impressive. And did you, were you enjoying it? Did you see, was it cool to see all of those big time country names all together on stage together? Yeah, it really was. Um, but my, I got to admit, uh, Miranda Lambert kind of stole the show, so to speak. She had a very emotional performance. And if you weren't donating after you saw Miranda start crying, I don't know. You just, I guess you don't have a heart because that was so emotional and so from the heart, just very genuine people. Now we're changing gears just a little bit. You know, as summer sort of cues up, that means it's time for festivals. We're going to be talking about the Greek festival today on the show. And I hear that you are also really excited for this one. Yeah, who's not, man? The food is awesome. I can't pronounce half the stuff, but it sure tastes good. And uh, it's going on this weekend, as you mentioned. Get out there, check it out, do some dancing, and enjoy all the great Greek food. And besides festivals, concerts are also coming up. How many more weeks do we have till the Taste of Country? Uh, we're down to days now, actually. It's 14 days away. Taste of Country is coming up on the 14th, which is awesome because that's Flag Day. A great way to be uh, patriotic is to come watch an awesome country music show. We still have tickets left, Matt. I hope you and the guys can come down and join us the 14th at Coca-Cola Field. And how do people get a hold of those tickets? Best way to do it is to know somebody in radio. No. <laughs> uh, WYRK.com. You can buy your ticket there. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today, Clay. You'll have to send our wishes to Dell. And, of course, you can always listen to them. 106.5 weekday mornings. And that is Clay and Dell from The Breakfast Club. Right now we're heading over to the Kitchen World Kitchen.